Hello friends, welcome to part 3 of watercolor supplies video and that's all about brushes. Yes, so today we will discuss all about the brushes and I will take you on my journey how I add brushes, what was my mindset and which brushes I add. So stay tuned and get ready to enjoy and know all about brushes. For those who don't know me, I'm Richa, a watercolor artist, a creative entrepreneur who loves to paint florals and especially the wedding bouquet florals. Along with that, I am passionate about sharing my knowledge and teaching you and empowering you with all the watercolor tips and tricks and techniques so that you can paint in your own style. So I'm making a three part series on YouTube because a lot of you as a beginner have a confusion regarding supplies and I had it as well so I can totally understand. So if you have not watched uh, the two series like the paper and color, you can always go back on my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to share all about brushes. So I don't have much brushes, even it's a five year journey. And uh, I'm so proud of it that I'm not a holder and I do mindful shopping and I always believe on quality over quantity. So for me, uh, I still use one brush for uh, uh, all my floral paintings. Yes, so there are a lot to tell you. Uh, slowly and slowly, I'll tell you each and everything. So to start with, uh, I was, I think I was lucky um, when I started my journey on the front of brushes as I was in Singapore and I think I made some good choices and uh, I always like uh, when uh, four years back, five years back, the mindset was like, uh, don't invest much, take cheap things and um, but with brushes, that kind of mindset doesn't push me, pull me down because I was like, okay, I can buy one good brush and I'm done. So I was okay to invest like $25, $30 in one brush. And uh, that uh, kind of a way puts, feel I feel I was lucky and um, it works for me. It works for me. But at that time when I started, I was painting more of the landscape. Now you can still go on my Instagram channel, travel through my canvas and see that you will see when I started, I started with landscape painting. So if you are in Singapore and if you ha are painting the landscape, then in Singapore, you get these Chinese brushes. So if you are in Singapore or somewhere in the east of Asia, and I'm not sure if you get in UK and US, but in that part, it is easily available. You get this Chinese calligraphy brushes and they don't have a very good tip which we need for a floral but if you are doing creative plays or if you are doing landscapes and even if you are doing portraits i think this is a good one to try and it is like very cheap around two three dollars and this is the first brush with which i started <laughs> yes and uh, so this was my first brush and it works very well for the landscapes and if you are lucky and you get a good tip of this brush it works very well even for the florals for because for the florals we need a good tip brush like it should have a good tip that works best for the floral so here goes the first tip with my journey so yes i bought this and i was happy along with that i also bought some flat brushes because when you're painting landscape you have to give a layer a flat wash you have to do a lot of flat washes so i bought some flat brushes initially i just bought one when I started taking classes, then I got some brushes from a student and that's how my collection uh, keep on increasing. But initially, I just started with these two brushes. Can you believe it? And I just had these two brushes until I started taking classes. That's when I buy the brushes for my students. So, yeah, you can do like less have less and do more so it is not that always you have to invest when you're starting in your watercolor journey and after that when i started painting florals then i bought this number four uh this is Kolinsky brush 
the Mistro Kolinsky brush. I bought this number four brush and it proves very well it was a good brush i painted painted a lot of florals with this like i think almost a year i painted just with this brush this four number brush and then i got inclined then i want to buy a six number brush so my next buy was this silver black velvet brush six number brush that's what i buy that's what I bought next after this so here goes the thing that if you want to buy a landscape then you just need these two brushes and if you want to paint florals then you just need one brush with a good tip okay so the thing with florals is that your brush should have a good tip you can if you can find a good calligraphy brush Chinese calligraphy brush you can you're good to go even um, for the florals but 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 don't buy the acrylic brush for your watercolor painting you will end up frustrating and friends don't no need to take notes or something because i have an ebook and the link is below in which i have written down all the brand's name which you will not be able to understand i know if you're new it is like chinese and french so don't worry just enjoy this video and take on the all the beautiful nuggets which you can take on with my journey so yes these two brushes i use for my florals and these two brushes i use for my landscape okay so why the need of more brushes arises it arises because initially i was just painting on the small paper like a6 paper or a4 paper so till the time you are painting on a6 a5 and a4 paper these brushes are good these brushes are good to go but when you want to paint more then you want to paint big like a3 b2 full size sheet then you need to add the same brushes whichever brush you got comfortable you can buy the same company brush but in bigger size like 12 number 10 number or even bigger 40 50 i still have to add those brushes in my collection then you have to add on more bigger brushes okay so that's how it will go so when i started with the bigger paintings then i bought bigger brushes so i have few these bigger brushes for my landscape paintings and uh, these bigger brushes for my floral paintings so this is how i add bigger brushes to my collection and then when you started more more and more play and then when you got to know more of your style then you start adding these filbred brushes cat tongue brushes to your collection so that's how i added brushes in my collection and i'm so proud of that that i am not a holder and i slowly and slowly and slowly uh add the levels to my brushes and if you are tight on budget or if you want to just go slow and invest more on your education because as a watercolor artist in the enthusiasm or as a creative in the enthusiasm we take we buy so many supplies and we are so so reluctant to spend on our education to spend on the classes even 12 dollars or 20 dollars sometimes we think a lot i can totally understand that because i was a creative but i'm just telling you a mindset shift that if you want to invest anywhere then invest on the classes invest on the tech learning the techniques invest on taking classes from various artists join join the online classes join the master classes and uh, make friends go for exhibitions and go for summits there from there the right investment should go when it comes to brushes even one good brush is enough okay even one good brush is enough even three colors is enough that's i that's what i told in my color uh, color tutorial just you can find it below uh yeah it's on the youtube already so you can see that yeah and now coming to another important thing is that you don't have to what kind of brush you have to use okay so watercolors you cannot use these synthetic brushes no those brushes are for acrylic and gouache and oil there are different brushes for watercolors you can use only two types of brushes one is natural hair brushes and other is synthetic brushes which are 
specially specially made for watercolors so like this princeton series especially watercolor uh brushes synthetic brushes so if you want to go for the synthetic brushes go for princeton and if you want to go for natural hair brushes there are many brands like dollar and ronnie uh rosemary and co and silver velvet brushes and many chinese calligraphy brushes mop brushes quill brushes squirrel hair brushes you will get all these names in the guide so yeah be mindful that there are two kind of uh, hair synthetic hair and natural hair go to an art shop and explore all these things um and just see which you like and one thing which you can uh, make out that if your brush is good or not when you're using a brush it's a good brush it will bend it will bend okay it will not come back but if it is not a good hair brush it will not bend much okay it will always keep straight so that trick to test your brush okay so yeah so there are two brushes just to make you revise that uh, two kinds of brushes are there synthetic brushes and natural hair brushes synthetic brushes only use those brands which are specially made for watercolors don't use acrylic or oil brushes and regarding the quantity of brush just one brush is good for florals but it should have a good tip okay and for landscapes and others just two brushes one this flat brush and one the uh, normal brush the pointed tip brush and you can always add on your brushes as you increase the size of the paper like bigger the paper bigger the brush we need we need more movement so that's the thing and when you want to play more then you have to add different dimensions of the brushes like different different angles or like this brush is angled brush this brush is a filbert brush i know you will be curious about all these brushes but i would say that go slow be mindful and use whatever supplies you are buying and rather invest in your education rather than investing in your supplies more yeah and there's a lot i want to tell you about brushes i might make um, more videos on it like what to do when you buy a new brush how to hold a brush what is a good brush all these things all these tutorials are already there on my membership and if you are also on my skillshare class platform if you want you can always check in the links are below and i hope that you have gained something out of my journey out of my story and how i added a collection of my brushes and i hope i am able to educate you well about the brushes but still if you have any doubts you can always dm me on instagram at the rate travel through my canvas or just come there if you're on instagram and say hello to me i would love to chat with you as i'm all about making connections with real people and if you're not on instagram you can also mail me on uh, travel through my canvas at the rate gmail.com for any queries you have and for those who are really 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 excited to dive in deeper and learn more about watercolors i have a membership program and i would love to have you inside that it's it's just a beautiful platform which i have created for all those who really want to learn watercolors like watercolor is not just a hobby for them they want to paint with watercolors in watercolors like not like acrylics so um, they are most welcome over there because i will tell you all about the basic techniques all about the different uh, things how you can play with watercolors like we have a creative play 30 day calendar there will be zoom sessions there will be happy painting our sessions you can ask any queries with me it, it has so much and it has everything where my heart goes so you're most welcome if you are really really want to know all about watercolors and there are many tutorials on youtube which you can try and just get to know and feel to get a feel that if you're liking this medium or you're not liking this medium you can always you're always welcome to try all those things and with that i see you next time with um, another videos and i'm really excited to know more about you so please comment below and subscribe this channel hit that bell button but only one time if you hit 
that too time you will unsubscribe me so subscribe that uh, hit that bell button and uh, get notified when the next video comes and you you are most welcome to share this video with your art lover friends because it's all about sharing and learning from each other and i'm so open for any comments any reviews you want any videos you would like me to make further or any watercolor struggles you have okay so till then happy painting enjoy your day take a lot of care of yourself go slow enjoy the process and i'm so 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 grateful that you are here and you give me an opportunity to guide you thank you a lot my friends bye